welcome back to my channel it's the Mads of San Diego and today as I promised yesterday I am back here in the beach but this is on the opposite side where I went last time so the other side was on the outside and I went down last week down there so now I found this trail here with a beautiful sunset and I think on springtime this is more beautiful because there's so many flowers so hopefully when springtime comes I will go back here but yeah this is so beautiful like to thank Haley TV who did a challenge yesterday and Amy Divina with Maria Catherine's vlogs who did the challenge uh, the other day so thank you guys for doing that and of course I forgot to mention last time that Nens Enero, Lady Rose 12 and Lena Works TV are my super chatters on my previous premiere so thank you guys for always supporting me and joining my premieres Thank you so much to the 60 plus viewers who joined me in my premiere yesterday. That was my two months, so today is my 61st, and I'm so happy to be back here in the beach. But it's not that. <laughs> Sunny. It's a little gloomy right now, but the sun's still up, and yeah, let's enjoy the view here. article and I want to share with you guys it's about five kinds of people that you are bound to meet in your lifetime so it's very interesting and I hope you learn something from that article it's not mine but I just want to share hopefully it will be useful for you useful for us So the first type of person that you are bound to meet in your lifetime is the person that who will stay with you forever. It means that these are the people that you will that they're 
will be in your entire journey. The ones that you can trust, the ones that you can pour your heart out, the ones that you can tell your problems, and they are there to stay with you. It's regardless if it's your friend, if it's your spouse, or whoever, but it's the one that will stay in your lifetime forever. The next person that you are bound to meet is the person that who are there for a short time but very powerful. These are the ones who are very influential in your life. It can be of any attributes in your life like career, your personality, your personal life, your achievements your school or whatever but these are the people who have a very very powerful connection na mapapaisip ka that why did you bound to meet this person is to give you a good impact and bring out the best in you Everything she got, she 
So the third person that you are bound to meet is the person that you will be reminded of something important. So these are the people who know you better than yourself. These are the people who tell you how strong you are or people that know your talent even if you don't believe in yourself. People that give you encouragement that you can do something even if you don't believe in yourself. So you should keep these kinds of people because they are very, very good people in our life. So if you found that one, you should keep it. Fourth person that you are bound to meet are the people who will awaken your spirits. These are the ones that brings you back to your faith if you're losing it. These are the ones who need for the people who have depressions and people who don't believe in God or naliligaw ng landas. The people who are naliligaw ng landas are bound to meet this kind of people who will awaken their spirits. So that you will go back to your path, you will have your faith back. If you are in some kind of depression, these are the people who will really help you. And lastly, the people who you will meet in your life are the people who are negative. These are the toxic people who are not bound to be kept. In your life so you should cut them off like all those negativity drag you to your happiness those who are jealous envy you cut them off because they will leave a lot of distractions in your life so those negative and toxic people cut them off but these are just from the articles that I have read and it might be very helpful to you guys it might not but I just thought that it's a good thing to share. Thank you all so much for joining me in another Health is Wealth Walking Challenge in this beautiful view of San Diego. I hope to show you more of San Diego and hopefully from the other side of California too. But yeah, please comment, like, subscribe, and accept my challenge. To those of you who accepted my challenge, please tag and mention me so I can go to your premiere or I can watch your walking vlogs too. So this is the match of San Diego on my 61st day of my health is well walking journey bye
bye everyone see you all tomorrow from the walking vlogger in the sunsets of San Diego bye you got time